next stop, I believe, is my own blood. And I killed myself. I killed myself. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's gonna be a mod showcase on the science mod. That's right guys, science in Minecraft. And basically what this mod allows you to do is take DNA from almost anything. You can take it from animals, mobs, yourself, tools, weapons, all kinds of stuff. And when you use it, you get special abilities. And to make this a little bit more exciting, I've once again created another obstacle course. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, be sure to smash that like button like always. If we get it 4,000, that would be amazing. But yeah, I guess it's time to get started, guys. And in here, we've got the cell extractor. And you can use it on chickens, horses, cows, sheep, and also pigs. And to make this thing, it's going to be gold ingots, redstone, and also a syringe, which can be used on an enderman, a spider, a zombie, and a skeleton. But I'll show you guys that after. And to make that one, it's going to be glass, a piston, and an iron ingot. And there is a lab coat too. I thought it was kind of funny. To make the lab coat, it is six wool, just like that. So we totally have to put this on right now, right away. All right, how do we look? Do I look smarter? I, I don't think I really do. It kind of looks like an iron chest plate, doesn't it? All right, so we're going to grab all of these. And what we need to do is extract some cells from these animals in here. All right, so let's get some DNA. And to do this, all you have to do is just right-click them with it. So, chicken, you're going first. And you can see I cut some DNA right here. I've got a chicken cell. So, we need to do this on every single animal if we want to be able to pass through the obstacle course. So, I've got the sheep. I've got the cow. Did, did you drop it? There it is. And we also need the pig. All right, so, P pig, where did you put it? How did it fly over there? I clicked on you. There. How did... Whatever. Whatever, pig. And now we need a horse. All right, so I think we got the last one, guys, and we must parkour, which is never a good sign. I'm not even sure why I would put that there. I completely hate parkour. I am just being mean to myself today. I think the horse one makes you run quicker. All right, we have speed for a minute. It's actually speed four, so it's like super quick. So please don't mess this up, Pat. Oh, there we go. That was so much better than I expected. All right, so next, guys, prepare to fall and fight. And I believe the chicken one takes away fall damage, so really important. And then, all these are really important, actually. The sheep one, instant health for 30 seconds. The cow one, regeneration for a minute. And the pig one, invisibility. So, here we go. We're, we're falling down onto the pressure plate. And we have to survive this. Luckily, we have regeneration, all kinds of stuff. Just, like, broke the redstone. All right, you're going down, zombies. You're going down. I don't have a weapon. I don't need it. I don't need a weapon to kill you. It's gonna happen. You're going to burn to death eventually, and luckily these buffs are super helpful. As you could tell, guys, the zombies couldn't even touch me. It's pretty ridiculous. All right, so we're okay. Thank God. That, that was scary. I didn't test it. I didn't know if that was going to work, but luckily it did, and I don't really want this redstone. I don't want it. I'm putting it back down. Okay, so we can head through here, and if you're a baby, you could just run away, but I, I kind of wanted to fight them all. All right, guys, so let's see. In here, survive and blow up zombie cave. And now, guys, we're actually onto the syringes. And I showed you how to make them already. So to test it out, we will try it on a spider. It's pretty simple. Plus, you know, they don't burn during the day. So let me right-click you. And he's probably really unhappy. But I now have spider blood. And, guys, what we're going to be grabbing is our own blood. And to do that, all you have to do is, you know, hold shift and right-click. We should probably do it, huh? Let me just grab it. Take my own blood. I'll do it. Ow. That, that was kind of painful. You don't want to take your own blood, guys. All right, so let's see. I've got... Oh, I didn't get it either, did I? I didn't get my own blood. All I have is the spider one. Let me try that one more time. Oh, it's on the ground. Why would I drop it? That, that is very bad. Okay, so we got those two. We got my own blood. We got the spider one. We've also got here zombie blood, skeleton blood, enderman blood, and the last one... I totally have spider blood already. Okay, so we're going to jump down here. And we are going to survive this, guys. It's dangerous. So let's try every single one of these. And then we've got to run for our lives. All right, so this one really hurts you. I forgot to mention they, they do hurt you first. So I've got invisibility. And I've got poison, too, on myself. Which brings you down really low on health. So maybe I should actually have this first. Okay, so that was a spider one. Next up, I believe, is my own blood. And I killed myself. I killed myself. 
<laughs> so guys, if you're trying out this obstacle course, I'm going to make sure to leave some potions in case you want to try every single one because they're actually pretty dangerous. So let's try this again. My own blood and now my speed is increased for five minutes, but it hurts you. So don't use it when you're low on health, then you die. That's really bad and we don't want that to happen again. All right, so let's go with skeleton blood. Okay, so this one gives you wither 2 and regeneration. So if you can survive the wither effect, you'll have a nice regeneration effect on for five minutes. All right, so the next one, Enderman Blood. And this one, not too bad. I've got Absorption on. All right, so we've got one more. This one is Zombie Blood, which is probably freaking horrible. I imagine it is. And let's go with it. Oh, it hurts really bad. I'm poisoned. But now we have Night Vision and all kinds of effects. So now, guys, we are going to try to travel through this cave without dying. It's going to be really bad. And then we have to blow it up. All right, here we go. Oh, my God. There's so many zombies. There's so many. Why would I set it up like this? All right. Okay. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, God. Let me out. Let close the door. Stay in there. Oh, my God. What is chasing me? So what we need to do is get through here. Take the flint and steel, which is right next to Bami, and blow up the entire thing. All right. We can watch from here. This is going to be so sick. Oh, God. Oh, God. I, I survived that. All right. We totally did it, guys. We have blown up Zombie Cave. And where is Bami? Bami is just waiting there so peacefully. All right. We did it. We survived. The only thing that killed me was myself. I got killed by myself. That is not a good thing. That is not a good thing at all. All right. Well, I'm a little hungry. And I think a couple of zombies may have survived. Luckily, you know, they can't survive in the day. And sheep, what, what are you doing on this chest? That's my chest. That's my chest. Okay. No, I said it's mine. I said it's mine. Get out of here. Okay, so the next ones are like extracted from your weapons and your tools. So there's a wooden sword one, a wooden pickaxe one, and basically for every single kind except for gold. And to make these, it's actually pretty easy, guys. All you have to do is toss it into a furnace and you get the DNA. So the wooden sword, toss it in there. And you get wooden sword DNA. And it works exactly the same on every single one. So like a diamond pickaxe. Put it into a furnace. And you get diamond pickaxe DNA. And pretty much all these are the same. And I'll show you guys what I mean. But basically the wooden sword is going to give you strength. The pickaxe is going to give you haste. And the stone ones will be 2. The iron ones 3. And the diamond ones 4. So just to show you guys what I mean. I'm going to grab these. Get some milk. And we're we'll get the diamond ones too. Because those are the best by far. So, guys, all you have to do is take it in your hand. We got wooden sword DNA. Right click and bam, magically five minutes of strength, which is actually amazing considering you can get it from like one tree. One tree and I have strength for five minutes. That is pretty sick. So, the pickaxe one, we get haste for five minutes, but we are going to clear that and try out the diamond one, which would probably be great for like a boss fight or something like that. But of course, you must sacrifice a diamond sword and a diamond pickaxe to get haste for and strength for. And did anyone else hear an Enderman? I totally heard it. It scared me a little bit. B Bami, did you hear an Enderman? Was he like sneaking up behind me? Um, but anyways, guys, we must make some gear and fight. And for that, we're definitely going to need to break these diamonds. So let me grab this diamond pickaxe right here and make our way through. And yeah, with Haste Foron, you mine like a psychopath. It's awesome. Look how quick I'm mining. It's so cool. So we need every single one of these. Because there's mutant skeletons waiting for us on the other side. And that's going to be really hard without some good armor. Alright, so I think we've almost made it through. And for some reason, I added wood. There's actually already a diamond sword in there. But we're going to make our own. And it will show you how quick my hand moves. Because check this out. Look at that. It looks ridiculous. Oh my god. Alright, so I've got it all. And now we can actually make some stuff. So, let's make a chest plate right here. It'd be funny if I accidentally skip myself on diamonds. Alright, we've got legs. We've got a helmet. And we need boots and a sword. Alright, so there we go. We got that. And I gave myself some wood here. For some sticks. And finally, we've got a sword. So, we're going to be all geared up. It'd be really funny if I died. So, hopefully, I don't die again. Before I killed myself this time, hopefully, I'll at least die from a mob. All right, so we're prepared. We've got strength four on, so hopefully we'll be strong enough to take them out. And I'm thinking we should spawn them both at the same time. It's going to be brutal. All right, one, two, let's do it. We're really strong. Oh, my God, that was mean. That was so mean. Stop grabbing me with your ribcage. It hurts. Oh, almost got him. I swear we almost died there. Look, a bone landed on the crafting table. That That is freaky looking. It's actually on top of it. But, yeah, guys, we have survived the strength definitely. Do you, I swear you hurt me. How could the bolt... Would it land on my toe? It landed on my toe and hurt my foot. That That is just mean. 
All right, so we're gonna be really careful. I'm afraid I'm somehow gonna still gonna die. That would be really weird if I died from this right now. All right, so we must use these items to complete the obstacles. So in here, we've got an atom extractor. And to make this thing, it's gonna be iron ingots and redstone around a syringe. So with this, guys, all you have to do is basically combine it with another item. So this right here is the compass atoms. And to make it, you are going to need the atom extractor and a compass. So you got to just take that and put another item with it. And let me get some room here. We're going to need a lot of this stuff to make it through the next obstacles. All right, so let me put that there. I'm going to put this one first. So the second one is dirt atoms. I know it doesn't sound useful, but it kind of is actually. All right, so for this one, guys, the recipe is dirt next to it, which definitely makes sense. So we'll grab that. The torch one next to it, of course, a torch, as you probably expected. For the redstone one, it's going to be redstone next to it. For the slime ball one, which gives you jump boost when held, you are going to need a slime ball next to it. And I feel like I'm just telling you guys stuff you already know. For the book one, it's probably a book next to it. Yes, it is. And, of course, there is a diamond one right here, guys. The diamond one. Diamond next to it. Iron next to it. Gold. Gold next to it. Stone. Stone next to it. And the last one is the clock atoms, which I couldn't figure out how to use. I don't know if it's a work in progress item or what. But to make it, of course, a clock next to the atom extractor. But most of them, all you have to do is have them in your hand. And some of them, you just have to right click. So this one, the compass, is really cool. You right click it and now you can walk up anything. Check this out. Let's get a better view. You can walk up five blocks. All right, let's do it. Let's walk up this. Look at that, guys. I'm actually walking up all those blocks. I don't even need to jump. That is so cool. Maybe this view's a little bit better. But yeah, check that out, guys. That is so sick. Awesome for traveling around your world. But let's see. What is next here? All right, so the dirt one. This one, you have to hold it in your hand and you get resistance three. So we're going to use it as we jump down into this cave. And we'll change to the torch atoms. And this one gives you night vision while it's in your hand. And the redstone one, this is what we have to do. Explode our way out. And the redstone one happens to cause explosions above your head. I don't know if it's going to work or get us out of here. But we're at least going to try it. I'm probably going to die somehow. But let's go for it. All right, I hear explosions. I don't know if it's going to get us out of here. That is so weird. You can see the explosions above our head. But it doesn't quite do it from where we are. I didn't actually think that was good enough of a test, so I went down deeper, and hopefully it'll blow up the ceiling or something. Did it actually work? Let's actually try to get out of here and see if we got rid of the ceiling at all. Oh my god, look at that. So yeah, things way above your head definitely explode. I'm not really sure of a good time to use it, because you can't really aim it. It kind of just goes way above your head. I thought that might work, but it didn't really. I'm probably going to have to change the obstacle course a little bit here in case you guys download it. Let's see, the next one is slime ball atoms. And this time, what do we have? We've got jump boost. So we could jump super high. You can see I'm in creative now, but it doesn't really matter because we're actually out of the course. I could jump super high with this one. The book one actually creates books. I've never seen anything like this before. So as you walk, books are created. So you can kind of travel around anywhere, even in survival. Let me show you guys what I mean. So as I run around, I create books. I can go high into the air. It's like the best thing for exploring I've ever seen, but also the messiest item in the world. Like, check that out. That, that is so strange. I am creating books. I'm spreading knowledge right now, guys. This is how you spread knowledge with tons and tons of books. And it's pretty much impossible to fall off this and kill yourself too. All right, so if we switch to the diamond one, now we've got instant health three. And if we switch to the iron one, we've got strength five. And if we switch to the gold one, we've got regeneration two. And now I believe we got to check this one out. The stone one. So with this one, guys, it's going to be haste. And the clock one, guys, I couldn't figure this one out. And oh my god, did the time of day just change? I think I know why I was confused. Because I was right clicking it like crazy, assuming that it would like make it later. But instead, when it's in your hand, it's the end of the day. And that is pretty much all it does. All right, I get it now. That's all it does is change it to the end of the day. You can't, like, switch it back between times. And that's actually what I was trying to do when I was holding it. So I guess every single item is working correctly. And there's some pretty interesting ones. Like, I could actually spread bookcases all around my world, which is exactly what I always wanted to do. We've got one more thing to show, and that is the hand-powered mining machine. And to make it, it's going to be stone, string, and an iron pickaxe. And what it does is it literally mines for you. So you place it down on the ground. 
We'll place it right here. And then you right click it with your hand and it actually mines the block that's underneath it. So you can see right here, the block is gone. And it's going to mine all the way down to bedrock. So it could be a really cool way to collect like stone and even mine like diamonds and iron just by clicking. So yeah, definitely a really interesting block in this mod. But yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this mod. If you want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.